Kudakwashe Mahachi v. Marita Paresu and Lovu. We represent Kudakwashe Mahachi kindly note our professional interest. Our client advises us that you are his estranged former girlfriend and then that together you sired a minor child Diego Mahachi born male. Our client advises us that ever since you and him separated you have gone on a rampage to destroy him and more particularly his career as an acclaimed international football star. It is alleged that you have done this on several instances, and the method that you have used is the same in all the instances. Our client gave us a recent example where you demanded at least 2,500,000 rands and a dwelling house. Your demands were encored on a flimsy basis where you were claiming that our client had allegedly fractured your hand, and that you were no longer able to work hence you deserved compensation. After our client refused to give in to your demands you engaged the services of the police and a medical doctor based at Bilo Hospital to create paperwork that was to be used to coerce our client into giving in to your demands and despite all those efforts your efforts were in vain as our client did not give in to your extortionist demands. Our client further advises us that you were angered again by the fact that he took a child you alleged was his for a DNA test and the test revealed that the child was not his and confirmed that the child belonged to one of the Malayishas that our client used to use to ferry groceries to you. And equally we are advised that for a number of years our client has been maintaining this child until recently. This brief background is just to highlight a few instances but that are very important to the current debacle. They demonstrate that your desire has always been to tarnish the good image of our client and your recent media episodes are equally intended to do that same and we have strict instructions to halt the same. Our client indicates to us that recently he applied for custody of the minor child primarily because you had exposed the minor child to abuse and that you had turned your lodgings to a brothel until the landlord evicted you on the grounds that you had turned her house into a brothel and a haven of despicable acts and you were exposing the minor child to an environment not fit for minors. After a client applied for the custody, you consented to the same and you deposed an affidavit to that effect, the affidavit which is still in our possession. Our client then advises that when you surrender the minor child, he was unhealthy and this was visible to all sundry, and as a matter of fact you are fully aware of the minor child's medical condition as you have taken the minor child to the hospital on several occasions. When the minor child returned to Zimbabwe, the minor child was well and was in Zimbabwe for his routine visits. When you were advised that the minor was in Zimbabwe you visited the minor in the company of a medical doctor who began administering the minor medication without having done a proper checkup on the minor child. You will recall that you and others only advised me of the condition of the minor child after he had reacted negatively to the medication you and others together with this doctor had been administering. This portion of the story you have deliberately avoided mentioning to the media. Our client advises us that the medical procedures that were done on the minor under your guidance were patently not proper as they happened in our client's property and on a medical facility. The medical procedure or the injection administering on the minor was done without having been satisfied on whether or not the minor had to take the said injection. This is concluded on the strength that the environment under which this happened was not appropriate. You have recently taken the minor child to the media outlet sadly claiming that our client the cause of the child's ailment, and that I burnt the minor child. You have published the malicious news on various media platforms which include but not limited to some papers, Metro, Nehanda, and Ezra Sibanda's Facebook page who is a self-styled journalist. All these platforms mentioned have circulated on truths malicious content which has harmed the image of our client greatly. Due to your acts of spreading falsehoods against our client, you have emotionally tortured our client, you have degraded our client in that your false stories have sought to portray our client as a heartless individual who has harmed his own child. You have again caused so much pain and suffering on our client and in the same you have negatively affected his performance on the ground of football play. In terms of the career of our client you have equally negatively affected his image. You will be alive to the fact that these allegations are damaging and ordinarily have an impact on his career. You have again approached a lot of people with a malicious story and in all you have sought to damage the image of Kudu Kwashe Mahachi. What is more concerning is that you are doing this fully aware of the effects of your acts. Our client has also lived in fear of his life and that your story has caused his to be attacked on social media platforms and as such he has been of social media abuse as a result of your unfortunate rants and revs about our client being abusive towards his only son. You have engaged trolls in the name of Lily Niri Kunaka whose identity is known, to further spread you misinformation against our client and spread the same malicious, vile message. Our client advises us again that you have sought the services of a medical doctor who employed your mother as a maid and we a in possession of your mother's message giving instructions to individuals to spread malicious message against our client and she is quoted saying Kudakwashe Mahachi must be embarrassed since he dumped her daughter Marita and we are convinced that all this is coming from yourself a jilted lover who is now bent on wanting to destroy your client. In light of all of this we have strict instructions to demand as we hereby do that you immediately do the following. 1. 
Retract all the false information you have supplied to the media outlets about our client within 24 hours of receiving this letter. 2. The retraction must be publicized in those platforms you supplied the information every day for the coming 14 days and at least two times a day. 3. Tender an apology in writing to our client upon receipt of this letter. 4. Ensure that the apology is circulated in all the media platforms you use to spew the vial against Kudukwashe Mahachi. If the above demands are not met within the prescribed timelines above, we have strict instructions to sue you for damages for defamation, pain and suffering and so far we estimate them to be in the tune of 55 million Zimbabwean dollars without any further notice to yourself. And should you comply with the above we advise that our client will still reserve the rights to take any further appropriate action.